morning, Rayfield. Well, it's another beautiful morning. We've been blessed to wake up again. Many folks have not. We know that it's a trying time. It's winter. And according to the Center for Disease Control, CDC, they predicted that it was going to be a tough winter and that we were going to have some tragedy due to the viruses that are out there. So let me first remind you guys about our safety precautions and just being safe and being clean and all those things that we should be doing anyway, as I always say. You know, at Rayfield, we take great pride in making sure that we follow our different protocols and sanitation is one of them. Um, as I stated many, many times before, we always make sure that we are doing our cleanliness sanitation um, activities, washing our hands, brushing our teeth, um, just taking care of ourselves in general. And I'm proud to say that we finally opened our wellness center. So we are really practicing a lot of safety um, precautions now for ourselves as individuals. So we're weighing in when we go into the wellness center. We're taking our measurements when we go in there and we're talking about our dietary needs and how each person is an individual and everybody's dietary needs are different. I may be allergic to or sensitive to dairy products and you may be sensitive to orange or apple juice or something like that. So as an individual, we have to look out for ourselves individually. It is morning. We are excited about today and what today will bring. On yesterday, we implemented some of our holiday activities. We had our drive through red and white ball and boy was that exciting. We had some folks come through that we hadn't seen in a very, very long time. We had Clifford Blake's dad come through. That was so exciting. We very rarely get an opportunity to see Mr. Blake and to talk to him about Clifford. And the exciting thing is that Clifford has a brother and hopefully next year, Clifford's brother will be coming to Rayfield also. Dad reminded us of that and that's so exciting. And then we had some other folks drive through. We had Rita Alcor come through and we haven't seen Miss Rita in quite some time either. Of course, the pandemic and social distancing has uh, prevented us from seeing people as frequently as we would have seen them, but it was sure glad, sure happy for us to see them yesterday. We had all of our elves on board, Miss uh, Regina, Miss Joy, Miss Helen, Miss um, Lori, Mr. Devon was the DJ, Miss Shanley showed us some new dance moves, and we had a great time. Even Miss Shonika showed us a few dance moves. So guys, I have to tell you that big things are happening, positive things are happening, and we are so grateful that we have this holiday season to enjoy. And even though things may be different, different and change is not always bad. So let's get used to the change. Let's get used to the differences. There may be a time where we use these changes and these differences again, and we're not social distancing just because we thought that the change was a good thing, a different way of doing things, a creative way of doing things. Change is not always bad. We have to adapt to change in a positive way. So let's stay positive, Rayfield. Let's enjoy this holiday season and let's continue to move forward with our goals. As you know, New Year's is coming. And even though we're still in the month of December and we're talking about our theme, 
which is sing for the king, we have to look forward to the goals that are coming. And next month's goal in January is a new you. That's right, a new you. And boy, is that health and wellness gonna kick in with that goal. Why? Because we're gonna take our goal from last year and we're gonna improve upon it. We have to improve upon ourselves, improve upon our goal. So my goal last year might have been, let me see, to increase my socialization skills. Maybe I wanted to be more friendly. And I learned this year that in order to be friendly or to have friends, then I have to be friendly. And so this year I've learned to be a little bit more friendly. I've learned to say hi, and I've learned to say please and thank you. So let's add on to that goal for next year. Let's be friendlier. Add something motivational to that goal. Move forward with that goal. Increase that goal. Just getting better and better and better. A new you. That's why the January theme is a new you. We're going to make ourselves better. We're going to improve upon our skills and we're going to learn more. And you know at Rayfield, we are always learning. We love learning and we're gonna continue learning no matter what. So all right guys, in previous years, our red and white ball was done a little bit differently. And even though it was a drive through red and white ball this year with a live DJ with dancing Mr. Anthony made a beautiful dinner um, all of the students who picked up their gifts received a dinner also it was just a fabulous fantastic time holiday time family gathering just as if things were not different so my emphasis was on the fact that just because things are different doesn't mean that it's not good. I think it was absolutely fantastic. And today is another day. And we're going to have another beautiful day today. We have more students, families, group homes, caregivers, and waiver support coordinators coming through today to pick up gifts that were given to them by Rayfield Family Literacy and we want them to have those gifts. We've been social distancing and we miss them. And even though we're continuing to social distance, that's why the red and white ball is a drive-through, we want to make sure that everybody feels loved and everybody feels cared for and everybody feels that we remember how precious they are to us. We want them to know that we care. And that kind of has been our motto and our theme throughout this last year, 2020. We wanted to make sure that everybody knows we care. 